Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Tech Times Exclusives. Today, we have Jeff Paul, CEO and co-founder of Zeotag, a very interesting software that he's, he's here to tell us about today. So thanks for joining us, Jeff. How's it going? Oh, great. Chris, thank you for uh, having me. This is really exciting for me. Okay, great. So, so we'll just jump right into the meat and potatoes of the, the, the software that you have. Could you explain to us what it is that Zeotag offers? Sure. So um, Zeotag is the first AI-driven video platform that um, allows uh, end users, uh, mere mortals, um, to create a transcript and to create an actionable table of contents around any kind of uh, video anywhere on the internet. Um, so it uses uh, machine learning um, to understand what's happening inside uh, the video. And we have a patented contextualization engine that um, understands what's going on and then creates segments within the video. And then we create um, full synopsis of what's happening in that segment. And we put that into a table of contents. Okay, well, that's, I'm sure that help, that's very helpful to a lot of people in a lot of different industries. So where would, where would you say that this uh, software is the most applicable? Like, would it be a, a news program or for YouTubers or where would yeah. you? Uh, yes, yes, and yes. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it's, uh, it's funny. We got going about 18 months ago or so. Our MVP of the product um, was becoming available as the pandemic was hitting, as the economies of the world were shutting down. And suddenly every business meeting, every lecture every class is now a recorded zoom session uh, behind it so in the history of the world so much business content education content is being generated by people who never saw themselves as content creators and it's being generated and recorded now and in it there's some valuable valuable nuggets of information if you can find them so our uh, our first uh, Early adopters were some of the meetup groups in New York City, you know, great being out of metropolitan area because any night of the week, you can normally go to a meetup group somewhere and meet some interesting people talking about some interesting things. And they're all recorded. However, they're like an hour and a half, two hours long. And, there's, and it'd be great if you could just go to the part of it, parts of it that you want to get to. And um, uh, so that's where we got our start uh, in there. And then uh, uh, from there, um, you know, we've, uh, our early users are in the educational field. Um, so there's a, a New York based company called Infobase and they have tens of thousands of hours of educational video that they sell all over the world. They're an aggregator and uh, it's difficult for their customers, the learners and professors and teachers to find the content that they're looking for. It's a big problem. Um, so um, by zero tagging the libraries, we make them completely discoverable, searchable, and navigable. And we can put those great content, we can put it to work and, and have it do useful things for people. All right. Yeah, I can see, I can see how this is extremely useful for, like you said, education. And when, you know, like you said, if there's a, a lecture or, I mean, even a sermon, I know a lot of pastors are now on YouTube and they post their sermons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's you know they can get they can get a little lengthy at times, so it's really nice to be able to actually not have to to fast forward or rewind to really find you. It's right there. Like it's, it's primitive. You have to move the little radio head across, and if it's a two-hour video and you move it a sixteenth of an inch, you've lost you know fifteen minutes, and uh, you know it's really completely unacceptable um uh, exactly. to it and um, what your your software is definitely um i know this gets thrown around a lot but it is a game changer it is revolutionary it's funny i, I feel like um it's going to blow up as i mean like you said i think i read somewhere that 
um, every day, I think it is, there's two years of content uploaded to YouTube. Oh, at least. At least, yeah. I, at I, least. I read that a while back, so yeah, at yeah. least. And it's it's not getting any slower. And no, actually, uh, you know, yeah. it's the destination point. So we work on YouTube, um, certainly. Uh, we just announced that we're working on with Zoom. Um, uh, so if you have a recorded Zoom session, um, you know, we can make those useful. And the first generation of it is to do the transcripts, build a table of contents, make it searchable um, around Zoom sessions. And it's very helpful if you're a company so that you can say, you know, I have two, three, 400 consultants working um, around the country, around the globe on certain accounts. Um, you know, there's too many Zoom sessions going on. I can't watch them all. So give me some structure and give me some tools to do the navigation so I can find specific, specifically what we're looking for. Our first generation is um, pull technology, you know, so you go out and you're searching for it. And uh, our next generation will be push technology. They'll uh, say, Chris is a uh, uh, video journalist and he covers, he's out of the Philippines and he covers certain topics. Well, these Zoom sessions happened last week and he wasn't able to attend them, but inside them, they're talking about some of the things that he's interested in and talk by topic, by location, um, even by company. And uh, we'll be able to generate a push technology to say, uh, Chris, you didn't, you didn't participate in these Zoom sessions, but here are the interesting things that you might want to look at. And you'll get that in your email once, once a week. That's, that's, that's amazing, really. Um, yeah, I've seen that you can receive through email or uh, post on social media, just snippets. Am I correct? That's exactly it, the... Um, <clears throat> Uh, Zeotech chapters and segments are actionable so you can clip them, put them in Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever your um, social media is of tours, and you can send them to a friend to say, this is the interesting part of the interview. This is what really matters. Right, right. I, mean, I, I imagine that Zeotech is uh, a video editor's best friend, really. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's for mere mortals as well. Um, uh, you, you know, so you don't have to be a video editor. You don't have to load up, uh, you know, all those studio applications and it happens, uh, entirely in the cloud. So from wherever, wherever you are, you log in and, uh, you have your environment set up for you. Right. Okay, so in the light of Zeotag, um, becoming this, this tool for pretty much anyone and everyone that, that cares about video at all, which is practically everyone. Um, do you think Zeotag now influences content makers to create their videos in a way that better fits the Zeotag format? Uh, I think like we're this. seeing some, we're seeing some early parts of that. Uh, what we find is um, um, there's a bunch of videos, lectures, a lot of the, uh, at least here in the States, uh, a lot of the um, schools will have it, all their lectures available online by topic. They'll do a channel for uh, geography, a channel for physics, a channel for math, and they'll do their coursework will be in those channels, um, things like that. And now if you can't attend uh, the university, at least you can attend the lectures. And the lectures are very structured, uh, pretty much. And um, so the Zeotag contextualization engine will recognize that and they'll say, okay, um, you know, this is this is where they're talking about a particular topic. We'll generate a chapter, generate a uh, segment within the chapter, and go from there. And it's very, very accurate. Um, you, you know, so the first generation of what we're doing works really well with structured content. Um, and uh, I think that as people get people who never thought they were content creators but became content creators because of the Zoom generation uh, are now understanding when they have a regular um, show like we're having here that you want to add some structure uh, to those things. So I, I think, I think yes, I, I, I think we are having some influence there. And the people who are looking for the leading edge, so to empower their viewers to find the information specifically they're looking for, um, then I would say absolutely yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
Yeah, as someone that does a considerable amount of research, I do find myself, because a lot of things that are written like in an article form or, uh, you know, an interview format, you, you miss a lot of things. It's For me personally, I feel like I get more information if I can find a video yep. interview, like, like what we're doing mm-hmm. right now. Sometimes you get, because it's more personable, um, things aren't omitted by the, 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 the author of the article. Oh, sure. So you get, you get a lot more, um, almost information. You get a lot more information from a format like this. Oh, yes. And so Zeal Tag for me is going to be, honestly, it's going to change how I do my business, like how I, how right. I work. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to check it out personally. And I think I think most people watching will do the same because it's just it's an, it's an amazing software. Yeah, um, you know I, I'd like to share one of our early users is actually uh, one of our employees, and uh, we have a very young team here, uh, and this employee is a, a junior at Rutgers University or in New Jersey in computer science, and a very busy young man. You know, uh, keeps a very tight schedule, um, so. Uh, during one of our meetings, after the meetings, he shared with me that uh, he's been using it in his classwork. Uh, he had an anthropology um, paper due or questions, and the video was an hour and a half long. And he had the 12 questions that had to get answered. So rather than watch the hour and a half video uh, straight up, he zeo tagged it first and then searched the table of contents, searched the transcript specifically for the moments in time that he needed to find that specific information and then to go back to it. And um, uh, reminds me of, uh, uh, I might be dating myself here, um, but uh, when I went to school, we used to uh, buy Cliff Notes um, and Spark Notes. They were premium uh, content to talk about a particular subject. And if you needed some more help around it, you could go to the Cliff Notes for it. And uh, so that was the uh, germination of the idea of cliff notes for education of video or cliff notes for any video. And we are the cliff notes generator for that kind of video. We call it zero notes. Um, so that if you've got to watch a lecture or we have a lot of graduate students who have to watch three, four, five hour videos um, of, of lectures and they find themselves zero tagging it. And it's much more impactful and it helps them with their search. And in a five hour video, you might be interested in only in eight or nine minutes, but you, but you gotta watch the whole thing. So right. I, I see that as a uh, um, ultimate productivity tool for the knowledge worker. Oh, for sure. It would definitely um, play a huge role in someone's time management. Like you said, uh, yeah, your friend, your employee is, you know, he's a busy guy, he's got a tight schedule. So he really, I'm sure he does not have time to sit and and filter through a video. Correct. I mean, like who does honestly a three to four hour video? Who has time for that? Honestly, nobody. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah. So um, how do you see Zeotag evolving in the future? Like, for example, could you see it being applicable to like a, a live broadcast, like in real time to where mm-hmm. It would, your, the information would be ready almost immediately as you're watching. You can always fall back if you miss something. Yeah. Yes. And stay tuned. Okay, great. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That, that was one of my initial thoughts was like, wow, could, could you do this on like a, even like a, um, I don't know, like I'm a huge sports fan and I wonder like, could, could it happen oh, yeah. in like a live sports broadcast? Like you want to go back and see that that buzzer beater or that hard foul, mm-hmm. you know, what I mean? so, and do it in real time. Cause I mean, it's 2021 every, it's all real time right now. Yeah. So. No. Yeah. So we, uh, we hear, we hear you. <laughs> uh, yes, oh. we, uh, we, uh, we, we definitely hear you. And, uh, okay, great. Yeah. and uh, one more thing I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people may be wondering, um, where did the name zeal tag come from? Oh, Sure, of course. It's actually a great story. Um, when we got started, which is roughly the end of 2019, uh, this entity got formed. Um, 
the original name of the company was Vizio Tag, and um, our lawyer, um, very a high-end New York lawyer, as we're in his office doing all the paperwork, and uh, he says to me, Jeff, how wedded to the name Vizio Tag are you? I said, oh, I don't know, Dave. It's kind of an odd question. Why do you ask that? And uh, the notion of we were generating visible tags around any kind of media content. And he said, well, you know, it's clear to me, this is going to be a wildly successful company. And um, one time a, a Vizio named company may come visit you and uh, say that they taking issues with the name, you, the name Vizio tag. So uh, un unless you want to help an attorney build his third yacht, defending the name Physiotech, maybe you want to reconsider. Um, so the next day, Physiotech became Zeotech. But he did say, hold on to the website name because that might be very valuable in the future if a certain TV company would be interested in that. So, so we have the domain Physiotech and Zeotech today. Okay, well, yeah, that's, that is an interesting story. And uh, thank goodness your, your attorney has had the foresight too, because I mean, yes. You said you guys started up the end of 2019. Yeah. And it's 20, we're midway through 2021. So this is, you obviously hit a market and a niche that was completely vacant for, for the most part. Yes. So how absolutely. excited are you? How excited are I, you? Just I, 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 I keep pinching myself. <laughs> right. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can only yeah. imagine. And, and, and really for all the good that we do, you know, we do uh, things for um, uh, people with uh, uh, hearing uh, disabilities, uh, people, um, uh, we have an initiative underway with some of the groups here in New York, where we give them access to videos if they're uh, hearing disabled, because we generate the transcript and we gener generate the table of contents, and then they can search and they can select and they can navigate uh, through the video. So from that point of view, it's really good. Um, for um, learners, you know, not everybody learns at the same sp speed as everybody else, and not everybody learns uh, via the same channels as everybody else. And if we give them a set of tools um, that makes online video um, searchable and navigable, um, you know, then all the better, you know, especially with the riches that you have within YouTube, if you can find the stuff that you're looking for, it's really helpful. So from that point of view, we're developing a lot of utility. It's, a, it's honestly, um, like I said, when I, when I was doing the research for the company and everything, I was so surprised. Once I learned what it was, I was like, this is incredible stuff. Like, why is this? Thank goodness it's here now. But, you know, yeah, sure. thank goodness you guys came along. But I could have I definitely used this years ago. But it's here now, and and I'll definitely be putting it to use. Actually, I wanted to talk about that too. Um, so I see that there's a couple of plans for Zeotag, the mm -hmm. basic plan I think, and Zeotag Pro. Yeah. Um, what are the benefits of upgrading from the the free basic plan to yeah the Zeotag Pro? Yeah. So um, you know that's um, you bring up a good clarification. Um, when we started, we thought we were going to do something like that. And then um, over time, it became clear the value that we deliver is really too important to restrict uh, it. So now everybody gets everything. And uh, we just do it by number of minutes of how many minutes you want to zeotag uh, something. And, uh, you know, so, so right now, if somebody wants a, a zeotag account, um, you know, it's really minimal. It's like, I don't know, $29 a month or something for, um, uh, for that. Really, our target market is uh, enterprise B2B uh, SaaS um, uh, from that point of view. But uh, for these purposes, you know, if anybody like to try it, uh, you know, happy to set them up uh, with that. It's a very simple product to use and uh, it delivers a significant amount of value. So our, our target market Today, uh, we're still doing fundraising. Um, so we're 18 employees 
And uh, uh, of those, most of those guys are developers and QA uh, around that. So um, we're not going out after um, single individual uh, users at this time. Uh, once we're funded and we we're able to staff up, um, that will be the case. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. That was a clarification that was needed. Thank you. Um, sure. So I understand that you've got a pretty impressive team of co-founders. I think there were maybe four of you guys. Yes. That kind of came together. Could you give us a little, I think it's, for me, it's super interesting and other people may sure. find it interesting as well. Could you tell us about how you guys came together? Because a meeting of the minds that generates something like this is always nice to hear about. Sure. So uh, it started actually with uh, Steve Durham and myself in uh, 2005, um, and I had met Steve. Steve was a very active videographer in the island of Manhattan, um, shooting a lot of artistic events. Uh, we actually, I think the first we met up was at Jazz at Lincoln Center where Wynton Marsalis um, has his school to te teach jazz. You know, it's the global uh, influence uh, there. And Steve was the videographer. And uh, Steve had the, uh, the uh, first notion of um, having a system for end users to tag their own videos. And uh, we met up uh, with Steve and he had some very good ideas. And then um, we actually did our first company was uh, called VeoTag, V-E-O-T-A-G. And it was manually tagging videos. And um, uh, Steve uh, donated to the company and was a, a, a stockholder in the company. Um, was not an act active employee at that time because of other commitments that he had. And uh, uh, so we grew that company from, we launched three months before YouTube. And um, we uh, grew that company until 2009. And then the, uh, we sold it off to a company out of Prague uh, called Kit Digital uh, that was doing a roll up in the uh, video tool space behind that. And, you know, we had sold to the Army, to Accenture, to Ernst & Young, Capgemini, uh, pretty much all the corporate training uh, places. Uh, and uh, so we stayed in, uh, I stayed in touch with them. And then later on, um, like seven, 2017, 2018, um, AI became um, uh, more democratized. It be became more powerful less expensive, less complex to use. And uh, I thought to myself, if you can automatically create the table of contents using AI, that would be a game changer uh, from this. And uh, with that, um, Steve and I uh, regrouped, we created VizioTag, now ZioTag. And um, we went out looking for people who could help us. And I was at a... Uh, industry event in Philadelphia uh, on the dais with um, Michael Puskar, um, who's uh, the CTO. And um, Michael is an AI expert, builds AI applications. His company's out of uh, Media in Columbia. And um, we hit it off well. And I said, uh, you know, Michael, this is my vision of what I want to do. Is that something you, you think you, you could help us with? You build AI applications, you would certainly be qualified. And I had been through a lot of people before I got to Michael. And um, so Michael said, that's, that's an interesting project. I said, well, can you give me a budget and a time frame? Uh, on when do you think it's gonna take? And um, he kept calling me up, asking me more questions about it. And I said, yeah, that's fine. Then finally uh, he came to New York, we went to dinner. And um, I said, so Michael, you know, can you do this for me? I mean, it, first of all, can it be done at all? And can you do it? Um, and he said, oh yeah, I can do it. Oh, I could definitely do it. Um, however, I have to be part of it. I said, Michael, you've got your own company. You have 200 employees, nothing like that. He says, no, no, no. This is going to be big. So Michael invested his own money. He brought his people. Uh, he sits on my board of directors today um, around it. And, um, you know, he, he brought the resources. We Together, we brought resources in, additional resources. Uh, now we have an gentleman named Matt Graham Moorhead, uh, who helps us out is really steering uh, some of the, the development. We have outstanding developers and data scientists in uh, Medellin today, 
um, that are just turning out some fabulous work. And then uh, we need to round out the crew. And um, I looked for one of the best digital marketers in the metropolitan area and uh, met up with Todd Genitasio. And um, so again, uh, met with him after talking to a lot of different people. I said, uh, so what do you think about this? Is this something you think is interesting? And more importantly, are you able to execute the plan to get it done? And he said, oh, yes. So again, uh, Todd said, yes, I definitely want to be in. Uh, Todd invested his own money and brought his talent. And um, he was uh, with us for the first part uh, of it when we thought it was going to be a B2C play. Um, and then um, when we first got our first big customer on board, um, we realized short term, the immediate value is to the enterprise. And we have very limited resources on our part. So we could only focus our efforts on the enterprise. And at that point, uh, we brought in um, two other individuals, um, Rob Savet and Teresa Dandrade, who are um, experienced enterprise software, SaaS software um, experts on building channels and building those products. And uh, that was really January of this year, uh, December, January of this year. And then we repositioned the company and uh, for us at this time, it was the right thing to do. We hear that from our customers. We hear it from our investors and we're hearing it from the street. Wow, yeah, that's a great story. It's almost like uh, all these, you know, you need this expert and then you grab this. It's almost like you're the, the Sylvester Stallone in Expendables almost. Like, right. <laughs> you know, you well, need... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 like I, I admire thing. the comparison. <laughs> <laughs> You've definitely brought together a super team and you are, you're producing a, a super software. Thank you. I, I really look forward to, and uh, I know you said that you'll, you'll zeo tag this video. Oh, and, I, um, absolutely. And we'll set you up with your own account and you can zeo tag awesome. your own uh, software. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's really, so, uh, easy to do right so so the viewers and our followers and our readers you guys can be on the lookout for these snippets that come and you'll know from right now you'll know that we use at tech times we use zeal tag wonderful you'll be able to really see you'll be able to really see the difference between just sharing it and um specific sharing i think would be a good word for it um, just to share specific parts yeah. snippet sharing or something yeah so jeff i really appreciate the time i know it's kind of late for you right now you were pushing 10 o'clock in on the east coast uh, not not to worry it's completely uh my privilege to uh, have met you and any chance i get to share the zeotech story um makes me really excited absolutely well we look forward to having you back anytime you want to come back just let us know and we'll, we'll definitely do it again um, I really enjoyed the conversation. I'm excited about the software. Fabulous. All right. Thanks, Jeff. All right.